Well, this is my typical live rig. Um, we'll start with the floor board here, our pedal board. Uh, my guitar goes into this Morley AB switcher, which lets me toggle between my tuner, which is an Akai uh, Tune Lock T1. And uh, when I'm not tuning, then it goes directly into this Morley Bad Horsey Wah Wah pedal. Uh, this has a great sound. I like the cue of the wah itself, and I like the fact that you can, uh, it just turns on and off by itself when you step on it. Um, after the wah, it goes into a Boss Tremolo pedal, the TR2. Um, don't use it that often, but on occasion. After that, we go into a classic MXR Phase 90, uh, which gives me that great Robin Trower bluesy tone from the 70s that I dig. Not to mention the occasional Van Halen kind of sound that I like. And then after that, an MXR Carbon Copy Analog Delay. Um, it's a good sound and delay, and typically I use that on my clean tones. Uh, below that is a selector switch for the Marshall preamp. The preamp is a Marshall JMP1. The pedal or switch number one is sort of a bone dry, clean uh, two would might be a little bit of uh, distortion, maybe just a little overdriven, clean tone, kind of a bluesy sound with maybe a little bit of delay uh, mixed in. Uh, channel three uh, is going to be my rhythm channel or my distorted rhythm channel, and then my uh, fourth selector there is usually my lead channel, which is has a volume boost to it. Um, looking up, we've got my preamp, the Marshall JMP one. Um, below it is a Alesis Quadriverb. Ain't that a classic? Uh, some people may remember these. Again, 100 presets. I use only one. It's a little bit of delay uh, that's in stereo with some reverb. And then all that gets mixed into my classic 5050 tube power amp by PV. It's a great sounding power amp. Um, gives me a great tube sound and some uh, diversity when it comes to even tone with its resonance and presence knobs there. And all of that gets fed into a Marshall uh, 1960 vintage cabinet, uh, which has the 30 watt, I believe, greenback Celestians in them.